Hi there, and welcome to episode 26 of the Tutorial Sect. I'm Icon, and today we will do a couple of wonderful things. First off, we're going to introduce the tribulation system, and on top of that, I planned today to gather the last necessary resources for a very, very special building. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to gather all the necessary resources for the mini-universe today, but I'm going to try to. So first off, I already know that because I know the recipe for the for for that. We're going to need one unit of that holy stone from Mount Kumbum. So in general, when you ever get to the point where you are capable of picking up a a piece of holy stone, just do it. It is very, very valuable and at least one of those is very desirable for you, for, for every playthrough, because you just need that. Another big kudos to the person pointing out the mistake that happened with Bang Zhu's breakthrough. I just wanted to talk about that, because that was a good thing too. She only ended up with a tier 3 core quality. That was because I moved items out of that chi array right before her breakthrough. Every chi accumulator here needs a total of five days until it's soaked up completely with chi. So the moment I removed a couple of items, just before I did that ritual, I basically reduced the power of this chi accumulation array by a ton. And another thing that has been mentioned in the comment section again and again, you can also drop an item out of your inventory right on top of the jade chi cushion, a chi gathering item, and then you forbid it with the ban command, and then it will still lie on the floor and do its job. So basically you can do, you can use the, the center square for another chi accumulator. But I personally consider that chi thing, that's why I'm not doing that, because I feel like the game doesn't want you to do that, so I'm not going to do that, it's just me. But I wanted to mention it because it's a solid strat, which just works out fine. Okay, Halion will now do her thing and try to find some holy stone for us. Bangju is now going to suffer from a tribulation soon. We got a total of seven days to help her with that, so let's do that. First off, I want to get over to the ruins of Tagi and get something from this place. So let's start there. Because there's one beautiful item there, which I want to gather. Well, not only one, but a couple of those. Meanwhile, we're going to expand the, the blueprint, the storage area here. Shame on me. Still no, still no warehouse. Still only a, a ruddy mess on the floor. That's a beautiful thing about this game. It has no deterioration system like many survival games. You can just keep that stuff on the ground and uh, it doesn't bother the items. So that's that. Now I'm just waiting for Bangju to finally... Wait a sec. Bangju, you were supposed to... to get over there. Ah, she can't, ex she can't go there right now, that's why. Okay, well, we're going to do it afterwards. So, since this is a very uh, low-tier tribulation, we're just going to do the, the basic uh, things. So, first off, there's... Let's see if I can pull this up. There's the clothing issue. It's not work out oh, wonderful. So basically, the uh, most desirable clothing for this for this ordeal is the one which yields armor. But I don't have that. Don't don't I? Ah, uh, here the fire bath clothing because it increases the protection skill of somebody. A tribulation is quite simple, and we're we're just going to save the game. We're going to show you what it's all about. And then we're, we're going to explain how things work. I think that's always the, the easiest way to do. So when a tribulation is ahead of you, you see that you always see that there's going to be a little timer here. When I click it now, I see the tribulation type, the element. It's a wood element damage source. 
and therefore it is going to be super effective against my my earth cultivator so the first thing we want to do now is just we're going to take the tribulation and see what happens then i'm going to talk about what you can do to prepare yourself so bang juno goes over here and is waiting for the tribulation you see now the tribulation she accumulates now and there's also that little storm cloud forming above uh, up, uh, ahead of your uh, above your cultivator and once that bar is fully accumulated it starts raining lightning from the skies and as you see here i'm tanking that bangju has a decent uh rate has a decent defense rating so she had no issues whatsoever in surviving that this was a super harmless tribulation to begin with this was basically just a little bump on the road to make sure that you can't break this seal with a level with a tier 9 golden core or or something similar shabby which just doesn't have the necessary amount of chi now things we could have done beforehand the protection skill here increases your your protection against damage in, ge in general so pumping that up before harder tribulations is a really good thing another thing you can always do is learning new skills which have the barrier trade so here barrier power bonus that's what you're looking for everything which increases your barrier power bonus is basically increasing your your defenses and you want to check it up a little bit more closely here barrier power 0.16 points per point of chi so that means my barrier will absorb 0.16 points of damage per point of chi damage that i suffer so if, if i understand that correctly please, please uh, give me some comments if i read that uh, incorrectly it's easy in this game <laughs> So, this means the higher your barrier power, the more your chi will be actually worth, because it's uh, like a negative multiplier. So, in this scenario, if I, interpret if I have interpreted it correctly, we will have like 16% uh, of the damage will be flat out annihilated before it gets into my chi bot. So there's a couple of things more that you can do. I mentioned one of those here with Zuruji's clothing. There's uh, it, it 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 increases your protection skill when you're just wearing it. But there's a couple of items you can use as well. There's shield pills. Let's see if I got one. Yes, shield pills. They increase your uh, protection against uh, against chi. Pretty useful. And on top of that, there's also a, a bunch of items which you can use for that purpose. One of them will be introduced now here with the Ruins of Taiyi. And there's also, um, sometimes in the auctions you can buy a, uh, I think it's a turtle shell. It's in the description of the item, which one I'm talking about. So basically every item which tells you that it protects you from damage should be ideally just acquired simple reason behind that you will need so much protection anyways for higher tiered tribulations that it's basically not possible to to have too much of that in my experience at least I never reached the point where I was like, oh man, I wish I had less protection items. Actually, no. Because the uh, tribulation mechanic is something which will bring you over the limits of your tanking capacity quite quickly. Because every, um, every, every high tier cultivator can ultimately do a tribulation on uh, um, voluntarily to reduce the attainment so the attainment if you remember is a a global multiplier to your experience point costs therefore this is pretty appealing but at the same time 
you can do three attainment tribulations. Every single one of them is uh, much, much harder than the one before. So it's really hard to get to the point where you really don't need more resistance from tribulations. Now we get back to that uh, pagoda here. Let's go for a treasure hunt there. I didn't do that a, while, a big while ago because I didn't want to have these items back then, but now we want. So here we search that place and we gain a Legacy of Tagi item. So we're going to pick that up and head back home. So basically after we've collected all the marble blocks that we can get. So let's check out. That's a big stack. That's a biggish stack. It's okay. I think I forgot one. Yeah, I still have one slot open. Alright, let's handle. You know, never leave with empty hands. There's uh, six inventory slots and you, you, you ought to use them. Okay. Now we... We of course have to wait until Hellion has success there. Zuruji is slowly upgrading her Skyfire uh, breakthrough. It really takes a lot of time. And we see here we are gathering jade from that place. Okay, so Bangju is back home and we got that legacy of Tagi. So to unseal this item you need at least a golden core cultivator. So you won't be able to do that. And now we find a secret codex of Tagi and a universe spirit crystal. That universe spirit crystal is really, really valuable, and uh, it's the only way to build the mini universe. So, it's like, where is that codex? Here. So, let's examine that secret codex of Tagi. And we're being attacked. Okay. Let's take care of that quickly. So, a couple of Chi Shapers. So, we're actually... Actually, I want to, uh, I want to use my body cultivator for once here now. So... Here, when we examine that book, we learn about the mini universe. So now we're actually capable of building that, but one thing at a time. Now, oh, don't kill. I think these guys get condemnation too, or don't they? Yeah. So try to not kill uh, units there because of condemnation issues. And now you see my body cultivator just. Uh, I don't know if you realized how friggin' quickly these people died. A a fully trained body cultivator is by far one of the most uh, powerful things in the game. And I've, I've seen a lot of uh, negative uh, critics in the past because people were just stating that the body cultivators trivialize a lot of the challenges in the game. That's, uh, that's partially true, yeah. They are brutally strong against the uh, Jean Dao cultivators in general. That's uh, your 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 average law cultivator, but they are not. They are unable to kill all the bosses in the game. But a good body cultivator with a decent evasion rating can easily kill the flood dragon. No biggie. So we I, because I've seen that people were asking about the flood dragon too. So I want it. We're going to cover that topic too in the future. Now, let's see. Uh, I, I wanted to examine that codex one more time. That codex is a really fun thing. So, one line here is really elusive but important. One receives reduced five elements damage and improved chi barrier effect by simply carrying the book. This is a barrier increaser. And you can't get that for free. So, you know, you, you remember 0.16 was uh, Bangju's uh, old barrier? 
Here we go. This is a tier 12 item, and that's why it's so massive. So use it. It's a it's your personal tool to help yourself through that whole um issue with the with the tribulations there. And there's another thing. The Universe Spirit Crystal, I highly recommend you to just equip that to somebody. This item, if this gets destroyed, you, you have no chance whatsoever, ever, ever again, to build that mini-universe. And it's a shame if that happens, because it's really good. So, now that we have unlocked that, we see that we need that Universe Spirit Crystal, Lumina Core, Phoenix Wood, Ice Essence Bar, Fire Essence Bar, and one Holy Stone Block. As you see, the Ice Essence Bar is the only thing we haven't uh, catched yet, except for the Holy Stone, but, well, I already mentioned that. So, let's create ourselves some Ice Essence Bars now, too. And on top of that, I think it's about time to think about a wood-type cultivator, because there's the winter is slowly getting closer, and with the winter... With the uh, peak of winter, I would actually really love to have a good wood cultivator, but sadly, I don't. I don't have any attractive laws. The thing here is the six paths reincarnation law. Yes, it is a wood law, but I personally like it not too much. It is one law where you get to decide what your uh, dude is, uh, what your dudes are specializing into, and you. You can specialize either in tankiness, artifact battle power, or spell casting, but at the end of the day, you will have one cultivator which just is worse at most things compared to a real specialist. The advantage of that is if you only if you have somebody with a really really with really good stats just for the wood law, you have the advantage of specializing somebody into that direction that's missing for you. But well, since I always have a fire cultivator to um, to gather the earth fluxes, since I always have a metal cultivator for the defenses artifact fighter, I always start out with a artifact fighter and a spellcaster from the get go. A tank, well, for the tankiness, you can train a wood cultivator for the tankiness. The this one, sure, but at the end of the day. This is uh, the Six Paths Reincarnation Law will always be kind of a lackluster comparison to stuff like, for example, the Heaven Stealing Law, which is THE big tankiness law. So, at the end of the day, I end up skipping that quite often, but that's, uh, well, that, that's only my personal preference. There's nothing wrong with cultivating one wood cultivator, but I personally didn't like that law too much. So Bangju is now cultivating really, really quickly, and that's because this room is really powerful. Having two spirit roots here, it's really a lot. So we gained another 57k followers in City of Abundance, and now we are at a point where this place churns out a really high amount of followers each week. Uh, each day. And another thing or, which I wanted to say thanks for is that the uh, farming stat here increases the yield of wheat in production events. So high farming increases the yield of these agencies and so does mining. It's a little bit uh, it's a little bit obscure and certainly not to be used that often but I wanted to showcase that. Thanks for that comment as well. So, my dog is hesitating. He wants to drink Life Spring. So, that's the point where I say no. You know, sure, it it might be useful for the dog, but at the same time, I feel like this is, this is too powerful for, for him. So, sadly, the only thing you can really do when it comes down to the Holy Block, uh, Holy Stone acquisition, is uh, Mount Kunlu. You need to go there, and again, and again, and again, and again. There is one thing you can do, and that's hoping to get one holy stone from the auctions. 
that's something that worked at works out quite well quite often too but beyond that well i made the experience that we're uh we don't really get the opportunity to find these stones as often as i want to at the end most of the time the holy stone is the only thing which is actually missing for me and another kudos to the person who uh, brought that up so if you uh, put a uh, if you put a harvest job on the spirit leaf it doesn't work but somebody told i need to put a remove up a remove thing there so clear that's what you gotta do with a clear uh command you remove these thingies and sometimes you gain spirit do for that this time we didn't obviously interesting but i also learned that the stamina gain of the body cultivator is directly linked to his food consumption and the food consumption people told me will increase by default on its own because food uh, body cultivators might as well call uh, might as well be called food cultivators so you get the idea to make sure that no catastrophes will happen here i'm just setting up large scale productions here oh look at that there's even more spirit soil good stuff so we're just going to expand that uh, farming area because the wonderful thing here is that there's never ever any anything like too much production you can only have not enough workers to get the job done but that's that all right, now Bang Zhu is meditating and she's going to get closer to the next breakthrough. And as you see here, the permanent mental stability is just so effing valuable. I can't put it into different words. So now we're going to uh, go back. We're going to uh, remold our our dude here a little bit more because I really want to reach the next stage. And right now. We don't have too much, to, too many different things to do than waiting for our next, for the holy block there. And the thing here about the body cultivator is he's a awesome bo uh, bodyguard for your sect in general. And that's why I really, really like to, to have one. Especially since you can easily kill the flood dragon with a body cultivator. The, I haven't tried it myself yet, I gotta admit, but I heard that all you need to have is a decent uh, evasion rating and enough damage. So corrosive blood sounds like something I would want to have too, increasing the secret body power moderately, but for now I won't be touching that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cultivate until I have reached the next um, breakthrough level. And then I should be able to see most, if not all, secret body recipes. And then we should be easily capable of perceiving what we want to do or, or, or whatnot. So here's another Yao Gai attack. Another thing which is really, really important to mention. The Demonia ta Temple Sect. These guys are body cultivators. If you ever make enemies with these, if you ever disgruntle this faction, they will attack you with body cultivators. And I had it one time. I immediately died against those. Because you see here what the body cultivator does to these uh, dudes. They just uh, get smacked. And this is the... This is just a very, very uh, low-ranked body cultivator. This dude is... Uh, Pu Qing Qing is just a bloody noob, you know? He's just a bloody noob. And watch what he's going to do with that guy. Bam. Bam. He's annihilating a big portion of that chi bar directly. Just with one blow. And that's why I am always that afraid about uh, being attacked by body cultivators you should too so that dude was just uh, unconscious 
and here's that odd moment when I somehow can select several bodies. Now I I don't know what it is with this game. Sometimes the selection is just very, very iffy there. Whatever. So we're just waiting for the Holy Stone to, to pop up and uh, can make that happen faster, sadly. Alright, let's start remolding again. Alien had a uh, deep pool encounter. Just some ruddy old artifacts. Nothing special. Okay. That's one thing I really do appreciate about uh, body cultivators. They are a cheap way of keeping your sect safe without needing too much, uh, too many resources. I perfectly understand if people don't like them or the power they got because seriously it is super easy to to cultivate them dudes it's just uh oh i forgot to pick enhanced flash on that body part yet okay let's check it out okay, okay. We're just gathering tons of meat over there but even though I'm gathering that much meat, you might notice my food stockpiles are dwindling, nevertheless. So we're going to be careful with the cultivation of this dude. And that's um, that's the downside of these guys. But honestly, it's a very meager downside. Because allocating food ain't that hard in this game. Especially with those little tricks that I've already shown you. All right, and now the process continues on the fourth layer. All right. New jobs here. The acquisition of a of a holy stone is a true pain. Like I always uh, in in whatever run I was, it always has been a major hassle. To acquire that stuff, so don't you worry it, if it uh, if it bought, if, if it is a a lengthy thing for you, and of course that also means if you ever can get your hands on these, do it, do it immediately. There's uh, it's uh, it's considered as a foolishness to uh, to not do that, you know. So ancestral throwback. The currency and defense success chance increases. I assume that these are pretty good because uh, if the... I don't know what the defense success actually does. Withstand damage. The question is, does that negate all the damage if it procs? If so, it's stupidly strong. Right? We're slowly increasing the attack power of this body part now, but as we see, the uh, flesh increasers are only worth a very, very meager amount of points. I felt like the uh, sharpened bone enhancements were worth much, much more than that. Alright, so we'll, uh, we'll leave him for himself for a moment, let's see. Stamina is slowly dwindling. And Bangju has reached another limit. So. She has to do some adventuring trips too. So that's good. So Bangju will adventure together with Ruji now to the meat village. And she'll gather up meat like crazy. Let's see how Ruji is faring so far. And luckily, due to the uh, presence of Jingqing, Jing, we don't really need any any extra defenders here at this place, which is really good. So, well, that's painstakingly slow progress, but well, that's okay. At least she's gathering valuable things for me in the meantime, so I'm not that sad about that. Alright, but overall, as you see there, tribulations aren't that hard. You now know already like 90% of the uh, 
preparation steps before tribulations. There's not much more than that behind it, honestly. You just have to be, uh, just have to make sure that your cultivator has enough maximum chi and that you have equipped all the necessary or, or all the available boosters that you got to make sure that you can't, you, you're reducing the damage as much as possible. And beyond that, there's not really that much more to say. You know what? We're going to do one thing there. So, just realized that I'm going to send Bangju somewhere else. So, Bangju, you're going to travel over to Mount Humbun too. There we go. We need that stuff, and it's about time that we bring another person. Okay, friends, so that's going to be the end of today's episode because we're uh, pretty much done with everything here. And next episode, well, I haven't fully decided yet. I really hope that we're going to be able to pack up the re necessary resources for the mini-universe. You know, and then I'm going to introduce how the mini-universe works. And of course, feel free to drop me your comments down below about all the topics that are still of in interest for you. We're still going to cover artifact crafting and alchemy as soon as I have access to the uh, enhanced uh, or the advanced laws correlated with that because I personally think that every artifact crafting will be only a pale shadow of what a myriad artifact crafter, myriad artifact law crafter can do and um, that's why we're we're waiting for it. Leave a thumbs up on that video if you enjoyed the show and of course like I keep telling you, check out my channel if you haven't done so already. Doing daily videos there and I'd be super, 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 super happy about every subscription I'll see there. And of course, don't forget to turn on the notification bell because that's giving you a notification whenever something new pops up. All right. Have a good time, friends, and see you next time. Bye bye.